the next question in this series is sum and product here in this question they have told us about sum and product using numpy so at first sum tool returns the sum of array of elements so what we have to do we just have to pass list and we have to convert into numpy array and by using dot sum we can calculate the sum here they have used axis at first the axis is 0 that is we have to just add this one with this 3 so it is 4 and 4 plus 2 which is 6 similarly when axis is 1 we have to add this 1 and 2 which is 3 and 3 plus 4 is 7 as a default the value of axis is none so it will add all the numbers so the addition of all the numbers is 10 so similarly uh, we can do it for product also so let's move to the sample input here in the sample input they have given at first n and m so n is the number of lines which is these two lines first and second and that they have taken input of the elements at first in the sample output they have compute the sum along axis 0 and then they have printed the product of that sum so it will be 24 let's move to the code first we'll import numpy as np and down we'll take input of these two numbers in n and m we have to map them because we want to convert them into integers so now input dot split okay and down uh, will require a for loop the range will be 2 which is n here in this case for i in range n and now we take input of these two separate elements we here also we are going to convert them into integer input dot split so now we'll require a separate list as we have to append the elements which are stored variable l we'll first declare the list list1 and down we'll append the elements in the list1 append and we'll pass l as a parameter and down what we have to do we just have to convert this list1 into numpy array for that we require new variable now np.array and as a parameter we'll pass list1 okay so now we just have to print what we have to print first first we have to take sum and then we have to take product okay we'll write code for that first we'll write np products that is prod and inside that we'll again write np.sum and now we'll pass numpy array as a parameter which is a double r and we want output at axis 0 along axis 0 axis is equal to 0 and down again we have to write axis for this np dot product also so let's run the code okay the error is unsupported operand for map so we'll take input in the form of list here so we'll simply write list and then we'll run it and we'll check it again okay it is working we'll check it for other test cases too yes it is working for other test cases also all other questions included in this series are available on my channel if you have any query let me know it in comment section given below and also thank you guys for watching this video